All right, first Pi guy here. I'm going to walk you through on how to install Light Show Pi um, on a Raspberry Pi. Now I'm just using a Raspberry Pi 3 for this, but uh, for this demonstration. So first thing you want to do is we're just going to go to the raspberrypi.org site. We'll just click download. Then we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to click on Raspbian. Then here, I mean, technically you could use the light version, but, uh, you know, any one of these. So you, I normally just download the zip. I don't mess with torrents, but uh, that's my preference. So you can always just, you know, download the zip. Once you got the zip downloaded, <clears throat> What you'll want to do is use like a Windows, I mean, uh, 7 zip to uh, extract it and uh, use a program like Etcher or Win32 to uh, load it on the SD card, which I'm not going to go through all that. So, the first thing we'll want to do is <clears throat> once we're logged into the Pi, I'm going to use uh, SSH for all this. So, we just want to go to the config setup here and uh, we can go to the audio and just make sure it's on zero, which by default I believe it is anyway. And if you want to mess with the time zone and stuff, that's under here. And if you're going to be using Wi-Fi, which in my case I will, <clears throat> my light show will be set up via Wi-Fi, you'll want to change your country to uh, the U.S. or whatever because it defaults to the U.K. So once that's done, finish, you might have to reboot. So we'll just do a simple update. <clears throat> so you may have a problem installing uh, Light Show Pi on your Pi. I did when I did it. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, install the Git Core just to make sure we have it. Um, so we could just do an upgrade <clears throat> and I use tab a lot to save some uh, time so you don't have to type everything out so I'm going to let this pause so this can finish because I you guys don't need to be waiting around for this alright so now that we're done there with an update upgrade, we're going to go ahead and make sure we got Git Core on here. So, we'll just let that run. So, while that's done that, we're just going to clone the repository here. Then we're just going to cd into the following directory. Then we'll just clear that out. Then we'll go back here. So we're going to fetch the stable one, which this software hasn't been updated for a while anyway. So. So now we're going to go back and we're going to move down to this guy. Then go back. All right, no such file, which I don't believe we might not even have to do that. All 
then we're already in this directory but we'll just go ahead and run it then we're just going to run the uh, script here <clears throat> and this is going to install some stuff um, and like I said we might run into an issue with a piece of software so we'll just let this run and uh, we'll find out so I'm just gonna pause this and come back as you can see it's installing a fair amount of stuff here so uh, we'll just let this keep running here Alright, so when I installed this in the past, it would fail right here trying to install this piece of software right there. Which obviously it looks like it did okay. So, if it still fails, then we'll show you what we gotta do. But if it doesn't, what you may have to do is uninstall that. The SWIG or you may have to try it with the SWIG 2.0 um, remove it then rerun the install dot sh command then you may or should be okay that's what I had to do to end up get it to work so but other than that I didn't really have a problem installing the uh, like show pie so as you can see it's still installing so I'll be back all right I'm back now as you can see we got an error here <clears throat> so what we got to do is we're going to purge this so we're just going to remove I mean, I didn't want to say purge, but we're going to remove this uh, SPI div. If I run it with sudo, then once we do that, I'm going to have to rerun the uh, install sh. Uh, command so here we go again so hopefully it will install now so I'll be back which this that might have been the piece of software that I wanted to actually say other than the swag one but you have to remove it and then rerun the uh, install dot sh and you should be good to go then so let me let this run and we'll see what happens I'll be right back all right I'm back now as you can see we successfully installed uh, like show pie now so with removing the uh, the uh, program there the software and rerunning the install command everything went well so we're not going to worry about running this following command to test our lights because I'm just running a pie right now with no relays no lights no nothing hooked up to it because that's not the purpose of this video this is just mainly on how to install uh, the light show pie now what we are going to do is other than just installing this we are going to install some other dependencies to uh, control our light show pi from a web GUI so um, now when I installed this uh, I had an issue with the web GUI 
to come up with the web page but I got it figured out so I'll see what I can remember here and uh, hopefully we are able to get it to work so you guys can follow along and hopefully uh, get yours to work so we are going to install one more thing here <clears throat> Alright, then what we're going to do is just clear this. Then while we're still in the directory, we're going to run the following git fetch and check out web UI. Then we are going to install once again. Now, I may have to run this as sudo. <clears throat> so it says here replace the decoder do, 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 do. I'm trying to think if this popped up before okay so we need to type in a to accept, I guess I gotta do a capital A. All right, so I think we are going to be okay here with the uh, line 81 because wiring pi is already installed. So, what we need to do now is get into a file. So we are going to CD into PY, and if we do a, a list here, we need to get into this particular file here. So if we do a sudo nano, then we get into here. Now, we need to replace the X and the Y for the IP address of your PI. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and do an IF config, and I'm at 127. So, what we can do is just scroll down here and replace this with 127. Now, your IP address will be different. So, <clears throat> Now we're going to let this go here, but we may have to remove this too because I ran into an issue, like I said, and I can't remember if I ended up having to remove this or not. I tried it first and I still was getting a problem, then I uh, tried it again. So... Oh, we need to change one other thing while we're in here. We need to, yeah, go to this, change that to that. All right. I made. All right. Now we are ready to run this script here and uh, see what happens. Well, we are already in the PY. So we need to remove that guy. <clears throat> so let's see here if we can pull up All right, I'm back. I should have rebooted my Pi. So when I said about rebooting the Pi, go ahead and reboot the Pi. So now that I'm back into it, if we run the following command, 
uh, you're going to get an error, more than likely. And it's going to complain about the wiring Pi 2 as wiring Pi 1 in the hardware controller script. So what we need to do is we need to change it in here. Crap. We'll figure it out. Uh, if I CD into the right directory, then we'll rerun this. Okay. Now we need to get down here where it says import. Right here. And we need to delete this too. So once we remove the two, we'll do a control X, Y, enter to save the script. Then what we can do is just back out a directory and we are going to rerun this command and voila. So now we are working. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up a new page here and we are going to go to the IP address of the Pi port 80 and you can change this port if you feel like actually I think what I did was to make this work I did end up changing the port to 8080 oh it is 8080 sorry maybe I did change it didn't realize it that's what happens when you don't pay attention all right <clears throat> and now we can control our lights on and off from here uh, now, like I said, I don't have no lights, no solid state, uh, relays, nothing. I do on my other setup, but like I said, this is just mainly a video on how in to install this. But you can uh, see the playlist. You can add new uh, playlist if you like. Make a new one. Uh, just go to the settings. <clears throat> so here's the current playlist there so but uh, it is pretty nice that you could turn the lights on and off and everything from here uh, so hopefully this helps out and uh, you can get yours up and running with minimal, minimal problems. Uh, so hopefully I can do a video again on uh, um, doing like an FM uh, transmitter. But uh, only time will tell. I've been busy with a lot of things. So. Um, we'll see, but hopefully this helps everybody out. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the couple of mistakes and dragging this on, but it's better than nothing. And, uh, I'm glad to share the information to help others get past issues and errors. Stay tuned.